Hello and welcome back to Paul's Beer Reviews. Hope you're doing well today. Um, got uh, a big stout uh, to review. It's an Imperial Stout and it's from Sierra Nevada um, in Chico, California. And this is uh, a can of their barrel aged Imperial Stout called Narwhal. And this is coming at 11.9% ABV. So it's a biggie. It's a big one. So yeah, barrel aged Imperial Stout from Sierra Nevada. Um, Love Sierra Nevada, massive Sierra Nevada fan. And uh, yeah, this is, um, like I say, a bourbon barrel aged stout. It says here, deep in our barrel room, out of light's reach, our legendary narwhal imperial stout rests in bourbon barrels for nearly a year. After aging, it emerges anew, rich with notes of oak, vanilla and coconut, layered onto the stout's malt flavours of dark chocolate and espresso. Enjoy this beast of a beer. I certainly will. Um, don't have anything in the way of ingredients or anything like that. Um, just a Sierra Nevada Brewing Company, Chico, California, and Mills River, NC, or North Carolina. Um, Sierra Nevada, I think most of you be familiar with them. Their their pale ale is an absolute classic. Um, <clears throat> they're an in, still independent, family run, family owned brewery in America. I think they're like second, third biggest independent brewers in America. Um, massive fan. Oof, what a lovely aroma. Let's get a pour. It's going into a Sierra Nevada glass. It's going to get the special treatment, this one. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Goodness me, the aromas coming off of that um, yeah it says it's a pint can um, but it's obviously American sized 16 fluid ounces it's got written there on the can so there's the beer in the glass um, I there is I mean I do mean the tiniest bit of red bleeding through the very bottom of the glass on this one Otherwise, that is a pretty much jet black beer. Uh, head has dissipated pretty sharpish, which you'd expect with the ABV. Um, but yeah, I mean, it just looks like oil. <laughs> um, I'm going to stick my snout in. Try and get a proper aroma on this beer. Oh, wow. So I'm getting... I'm getting dark chocolate. I'm also getting milk chocolate. I'm getting vanilla. I am getting bourbon characteristics on this aroma as well. It's a bit of caramel. The caramel and the vanilla really coming through. That's definitely an effect from the bourbon barrels. There is a bit of coconut on the aroma. I did mention that on the can. There's a milky coffee latte kind of aroma to it. There's a very, it's like a dark fruit sweetness to it. <laughs> I'm also getting like a little bit of sort of cigar smoke. It's like cigar smoke kind of aroma too. <sighs> Classed. Uh, in terms of aromas, that's got to be one of the most um, complex that I think I've ever come across. Certainly one of the most complex I've ever come across for a beer review. There's so much going on with that. I'm saying I'm getting bourbon, I'm getting cigar smoke, coconut, fruit, chocolate. Oof, I'm going to get stuck in. Um, cheers, everyone. Goodness me. Wow, 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 wow. First thing, it's quite light in the body. It's not particularly thick or gloopy. Um, there's a light carbonation to it as well, which uh, makes it quite drinkable. It's smoky. It's smoky. I am getting... Whoa. 
it's still developing. It's really warming. It's really warming. Right now, my palate feels like I just took a shot of bourbon about 30 seconds or so ago, and it's just cooling down. That's what it feels like. Like I've just taken a shot of a, a Woodford Reserve or something, you know, like a 30 seconds to a minute ago. I can still feel the warmth in my chest. Oof. The bourbon character is strong with this, really is. So you're getting black coffee, dark coffee, dark fruits, a bit of a plum character, slight winter berry, sort of dark fruit sweetness to it, plain chocolate, and I do mean dark chocolate, Bourneville, sort of a cabbage Bourneville kind of, kind of uh, flavour. There is a, a smokiness to it. There is a, a booziness to it. I mean, 11.9%. It is not hiding it. It is not hiding it, ladies and gentlemen. If you're not into spirits or strong alcoholic beverages, um, this is not for you. Straight away, I will say that. I am a massive bourbon fan. And I'm a big stout fan. And Sierra Nevada here have captured the best of both worlds for me. This is um This is gonna take me a while to drink. This is not a necker, this is a sipper, this is one to savour. This is one to um sip on whilst watching a good film or something, you know. Oh, there's so much going on. Black coffee, dark chocolate, vanilla, dark fruits. Back end, there's a smokiness. Like it, it's, it's, it's reminiscent of like a, a slight sort of cigar smoke flavour. Real smokiness on the palate. Oak. You're getting the oak characteristic from the bourbon barrels. And there's a warming sensation afterwards when it's gone. Um... And it's, it's heavy. It is heavy. Make no mistake about it. This is, um, this is a bit of a luxury, this one. This is not a session beer at all. Oh. I can't remember the last time I had a stout. But I had so many flavours going on. It's like firework exhibition going on in my mouth. It's pew, 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 one thing to the other. All these different things are popping out. You get different different stages to it. It's Initially, it's kind of like dark chocolate, coffee. Then there's like the dark fruit comes in with the carbonation rush. And that sort of sends the fruit, the dark fruit bits mm. around your mouth. And then as it calms down, you're then left with that sort of smoky bourbon barrel characteristic. The alcohol warmth thing comes up and you're left with that. Hmm. Oh. But combined, it really is delicious. It's rich. It's full of flavour. It's complex as you like. Um, a lot of... Um, a lot of care has gone into this, you can tell. I kind of imagine a beer like this would have been tasted at different stages, much like a, a bourbon would, or any good single malt scotch would. They kind of barrel them and they check on them, give it a taste, they might say, no, it needs a little bit longer. I get the feeling that this one would have developed during the brewing process. Um, like I say, it was put in a bourbon barrels for just shy of a year I could imagine the guys at Sierra Nevada coming along and checking up on it and just thinking yeah, maybe give it a little bit more how much more should we give it you know I imagine this is a lot of fun to brew oh, it's um it's incredible 
it's absolutely incredible. This brewery for me um, are just on their game. They're on their game. Um, Forty odd years they've been brewing now, and I've I've never had a bad beer. I've never had a bad beer from them, and this is an absolute stunner in terms of an imperial stout. You won't. I don't think you'll find a more complex. A complex example, not no, possibly. I don't know. I might, might be talking waffle at this point. The alcohol kicking in. At eleven point nine, lovely body. It's drinkable. It's a light carbonation. Dark fruit, black coffee, dark chocolate. There's a bit of bitterness, bit of warmth. The oak barrels and the bourbon characteristic really come into play. It is strong, it is boozy, it is complex, it is delicious. Um, one thing it isn't, however, it's not cheap. Um, I paid £10.50 for this can. I ordered it from uh, Beer Hop. Is it .co.uk or .com? I'm not 100% sure now, but I got it from Beer Hop. I'll leave um, a link. Uh, to their website in the comment section below or the description below should I say um, best get it now because there's there's currently a, a sale on some of this Sierra Nevada products otherwise this is a £15 can of beer and you can see where that £15 goes so if you want it for about £5 cheaper go do it now um, this is a 10 out of 10 beer it's stunning it's you don't know where to start with it. I don't know where to stop with it. This will develop. I'm going to keep this in the glass and enjoy this slowly. Um, it's a 10 out of 10 beer. So Sierra Nevada's Narwhal Barrel Aged Imperial Stout. 10 out of 10. Uh, go to Beer Hop. Check it out. If this sounds like one of your uh, something you might fancy, go do it. I really do recommend it. Um, I'm going to wrap it up there. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, and until my next one, you take care.